Welcome to Drawfee Beans, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. We're doing some interesting pausing in our speech. Yeah, I thought I'd like kind of, you know, trip it up a little bit. It's see good. If, uh, catches people's ears. I like that. They expect one thing, they get another. Yeah. Um, you, you oftentimes you can know what to expect based on words. This is a good segue already. This is a pretty good this is segue. A really good one. Keep going. You already know what the episode is if you clicked on this because it's in the title. But it's all about following the journey. Now we're gonna get there. Take us there. Um, like uh, like when you hear about a group of things, yeah, it can give you a little insight into what it is. Mm-hmm. Which brings us to our suggestion. Oh, here it comes. What is it, Nathan? Bunny Chan X suggests, can you please draw animals based on their official names for what a group of them is called, such as a murder of crows, a shrewdness of apes, a sleuth of bears. There were probably some more examples, but uh, it required me to click the read more, and I just took a screenshot of the suggestion. Yeah, so we can't do that now. That ship has sailed. It's just those three. What's a group of ships called? A fleet? A fleet? An armada? An armada? We don't know. What I do know is I love a sleuth of bears. Is it sleuth like like Sherlock Holmes and is a big like a detective sleuth? I sure hope so, because that's what I'm drawing. Is that what it's is that how it's spelled? It's an entire sleuth of bears. It's one whole sleuth made of bears. So I think what we're dealing with here. It's like a kids in a trench coat It's situation. a kids in a trench coat situation of bears. Of bears, yeah. They want to solve the case. The they big want case, the, the missing the, honey. The, the mystery of the missing honey, the honey heist. The missing marmalade. The marmalade, yes. Yeah. Bears pronounce it marmalade. <laughs> you know many bears? I know a few bears. I mean, I you know, I, a bear told me it's pronounced marmalade in bear culture. Okay. And I think that bear would know more than you do. It's not pronounced. Well, that's a little rude. Because it's a bear. I think. Because that's how bears talk. That's how some bears talk. That's how every bear talks. That's not how Paddington bear talks. He talks with a charming British accent. Shit, you're right. Even though he's from, where's he from? Argentina? <laughs> Is that where Paddington's from? He's from somewhere crazy. He's I from like Patagonia. Love- I love how much we talk about Paddington on it's the program. It's just, it's right. It's right to do. It's right to do. So this is a big sleuth of bears. Hold on, I gotta Google where is Paddington from. He's from somewhere, it's not It's not England. Mm-hmm. Peru. He's from Peru. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he originally, the writer originally wanted Paddington to have come from Africa. Uh huh. But his agent advised him that there were no bears in there Africa. There are no bears in Africa. And so it was amended to Peru, the home of the speckle, spectacled bear. Mm-hmm. Those are bears that wear glasses. Bears with very bad vision mm-hmm. in Peru. Paddington can't see shit. That's canon. That's canon. Paddington, the blind bear. Yeah. So this bear decided to have all of its limbs be bears. Well, it's they're all bears. It's just a bunch of bears in here. Yeah. It's a sleuth of bears. It's one sleuth. It's not a bunch of bear sleuths, which is what I was originally going to draw, but then I was like that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, that's not how the phrase that's goes. That's not at all. that's not how it goes. So it this is one sleuth made of bears. It's very cute. Mhm. Is what I'll say. I'm going to mm-hmm. come out right here, Nathan. I'm going to say it's very cute. Mhm. But also incredibly dangerous. Yeah. And I, because you know what's the most dangerous of all? What? The truth. Damn, dude. And these bears are going to find it. They're going to find the truth or maul someone with, really super bad. With the truth. Or their, their big paws. Or their big and mouths. Bear, <laughs> their paws and claws. Paws and claws, baby. That sounds like a restaurant. Paws and claws. Move over, pies and thighs. It's paws and claws. We got paws and claws. We They only sell. Um, Bear claws. Bear claws and also crab claws. But where's the paws? What? Bear bear claws and crab claws. Uh-huh. Where's the paws? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? It's paws and claws. Uh-huh. You motherfucker. 
Uh, I forgot I'm not supposed to curse on YouTube anymore. Yeah. YouTube came down and they said, listen, guys. They said. Enough with the foul yeah. mouthery. Um, yeah. I think we're we're deep enough into the episode. That was our first curse of the episode, right? Yeah, and of course I'm the one that did it. Yeah. I think it's usually me calling you a motherfucker. I mean, that's. A lot of the time. That shouldn't be a curse. That's just a descripto. That's just you expressing yourself. Yeah, I'm expressing myself. Yeah. But YouTube says no more potty mouth. They hate no more, potty. No more potty. Yeah, they're like, it's time to clean things up around here. If you want to say horrible stuff, do it without the curses. Yeah, you can say horrible stuff you can about say anyone on YouTube. You can say targeted, awful stuff. They love it when you do they, that. They actually super love it when you do that. But, but, but don't say a bad don't word. Don't say a bad word. That's really rude to say a bad word, yeah. but do say horrible things about do people. Do say horrible things about people, um, I think, is what... I, that's that was the the email I got from from Mr. YouTube. Yeah, he came down. He came, came down. down on the email through the email chain. Through the email chain, said if you have over a million subscribers, Mr. YouTube sends you one email every you week. Get, you get one email. This bear is just peeking. And out. he tells you what words you can't say anymore. Yeah, uh, but what groups you can uh, target. target. Yeah, <laughs> which is all of them. Yeah, he loves that. He loves that. Um, we we got to invent some new curse words. Yeah. I think. Okay. Like, what can I call you if you say something? If I, I say think something, and I think it's dumb, reprehensible. You could call me a, a dumbus. I could call you a dumbus, but I really need something with like the same number of syllables as mother as as M F R as M as M F R. Yeah, you, you M or F R. You could call me an M or F R. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's, that's allowed. True. But what if it's like we went like a totally different direction? I'm like you, chili salad. Ooh. You okay, it, like, are you saying chili like like the like the beef? Yeah, like or the beef. or like a cold, just like, like a burr. Beef. The salad is chili. You silly Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna draw a bottom you for this. You salty Samuel. Just like some more, some more bear heads sticking out. What I like about this drawing is that you can't tell how many bears are in here. No, there's no way to know. There's no way to know for sure. You would, need, that... a, you would need a super sleuth to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, and only the bears know. Only the bears can sleuth enough to know yeah. the actual truth here. Sleuth the truth. Sleuth the truth. Sleuth the truth. It's bears. It's bears. Sleuth the truth. I want to like know the history behind a sleuth of bears. Yeah, you looked up, uh, you looked up a couple... Yeah, I saw a couple things, but Sleuth the Bears was not among was not among the list. Yeah. And I don't know that bears are particularly known. I guess they sleuth a little bit. They got to find well they got to find where the honey is at. They're also like really smart. Like if you try to like hide your garbage from them, oh they'll they'll sniff it out. They'll figure it out. They'll figure out how to get into it. Like in like parks and stuff, they have to change their their garbage uh puzzle. Every so often. Every so often because the bears solve the garbage puzzle. Yeah. And not only do they solve it, but then they teach it to their kids. It's the bears version of an escape room. Yeah, they're always playing this garbage escape <laughs> room. It's, but instead of escaping a room, you're getting into the trash yeah. so you can root around in there, sleuth around in there. Mm -hmm. but yeah, they tell all their kids. They're like, you can get into this garbage. You it's can super get into easy. this garbage. You can figure it out. I believe in you. I don't know. There, there's a really strong bear in here that's holding this bear, so yeah, that it can that's a rough be at position. this angle. That's not an easy position, for um, sure. And then this, this one's just sort of doing a big. It's upside down. That's cute. I think this is a pretty cute drawing I've done. Usually, you do the cute drawings. This is really cute. But I'm. I like that I gave all these bears these sort of dead-eyed, nondescript. <laughs> expressions also. <laughs> yeah, they're hiding their true feelings. Yeah. There's no room for emotions in the act of sleuthing. Yeah, when they're they're the grizzled grizzled Hey They're grizzled grizzly detectives. They're grizzly detectives and they're grizzly de detectives. <laughs> and they're on the damp case, <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they don't have time. They can't let feelings get in the way. They can't yeah. fall in love. They can't fall in love. But they do. But they do. You know they're gonna with each other. When you're when you're sharing a giant trench coat, there's gonna be some some hanky panky, and and it always they it's one of those things where like official bear stance no mm -hmm. hanky panky if mm -hmm. you're if you're sharing the trench coat right but unofficially off the books mm -hmm. they're they're getting to it in there because yeah. how could you not 
How could you you're not? You're going to get close with people if you're in a trench coat with them yeah. all day, solving crimes and, and murders and, and mysteries. Murders, mysteries. Figuring out how to get into the trash. Figuring out figuring out those trash puzzles. Yeah, those, those nefarious trash puzzles that the humans do. But the problem is, too, mm-hmm. with each trash puzzle we do that they solve, they get stronger. They're, yeah, they're getting better. They're getting yeah. better at solving trash puzzles. So eventually we're going to run out of exactly of ingenuity yeah it's hard it's a hard uh a hard pact we've made someday we're gonna wake up and all of our stuff is gonna be inside of a puzzle that the bears have put yeah because they're gonna be better at they're it gonna than we t- are they're gonna turn the tables on and us and then we're gonna start solving the bears puzzles to like access our our laptops and our microwave and stuff yeah did i leave you enough room to draw sure is that okay yeah is that that all right sure i feel like you I feel like you're mad at me. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm having a great time. You sure this is? Why would I be mad? This is a sleuth of bears. Nathan, I love it. Okay. I want to draw you, two, You do yours. It's monkey time. What? It's monkey time. <laughs> is this a new segment? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Undrophy. Ring monkey the bell. T- <laughs> I, I didn't, I don't know what. It's monkey time. What's monkey time? I'm gonna draw a shrewdness of apes. Oh. That was another one in the thing. It's ape time. Um, You're drawing the ape. You're drawing the root ape. I'm drawing the shrewd apes. You're drawing the shrewd apes, excuse yeah, me. It's, if it's you different. Have, if you have one ape, sure, they get rude. Yeah. But if you get a few of them together, they, they get shrewd. They get a little shrewd. And I think, you know, kind of what I'm thinking for this mm-hmm. is like, let me get like a sort of ape. I want like an ape face. Y- yeah. I, I drew an ape on the last week's Drawfee Beans. Did you? I drew a, a cute version of Skunk Ape. Because I wasn't, I wasn't in that one. Because we did, it was, uh, it was Karina's first episode as an official Drawfee. Oh, right, yeah. And if anybody is ever confused about how to spell our names, they are in the episode descriptions. Because a lot of people wanted to congrats Karina. But they did it improperly. Well, they, they they called themselves out. They were like, SP question mark. And I was like, it's you can it's right there. Yeah, like there are ways to know. You can find it out. I understand. People are busy. It's it's a it's a big ask to just have anyone leave a comment on a video at all. And we For appreciate sure. we appreciate that you do. We yeah. love the comments. We love to read the comments. That's how we get suggestions. Such as the one for this episode. Correct. So do do continue to leave comments. Thank you for taking time out of your busy days to leave comments. But if you're ever confused, we got you. We got you. Just look down there. You can look. I guess it's up. It's up from. It's down from the video, but up from the comments. There's a little description of the video. Yeah, look down or up there. And we always put the names of ourselves whoever's on the episode in the description. At least sure. at least we try to. I don't know what goes on down there. I don't go down there. We don't we don't go there. Maybe that's why the audience doesn't go there either. But you can. You're allowed to. You're allowed to. We won't get mad. We won't get mad. We're never mad. Have we ever gotten mad? No. <laughs> <laughs> and shut up if you think we have. <laughs> Got a lot of nerve coming in here. <laughs> Asking about getting mad. Asking about getting mad. This is a big ape. Yeah, maybe I think the apes are kind of in the foreground. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the way the, I see it is like the sleuth well, because again, a sleuth of bears is gonna move slowly. Yeah. It's sort of a shuffling motion. Cause well, they gotta I, stay upright. For sure. And I think that probably the bears are investigating. The shrewd apes, because these apes are some shrewd business oh, business people. Oh, these these bears have been hired, and these bears have been hired because like people suspect you know foul play from these this shrewdness of apes. Because mm-hmm. like where's where's the money going? Where's the money going? You know, it's they they keep probably, re- reporting these major profits. Probably bananas. But we're not seeing where the money's going. It's probably going to bananas. And so like you know this one's this is one ape. I'm gonna have to draw more because apes love to eat. Bananas. Apes love to eat bananas, and it's probably bananas if we're being honest. But you know, you got to know for sure. Dang! If I saw this ape walk into our office, I'd be like, "Dang, that's, that's a shrewd. A, that's ape. a shrewd ape." Yeah. This ape means business. You know what? I think he needs to be like on a phone. Okay. Um, yeah. Just to, because, like, business multitasking. When you're shrewd. Yeah. 
business is always, business time is any time. Business time is all the time. Bathroom, that's business time. Bathroom is like the one time of day that I'm like, this is not business time. That's when, that's when I'm doing my business. When I go in the bathroom, I'm like, this is Jacob. This is daddy time. Yeah, but that's, that's because but you're I'm not, not very shrewd. You're not a shrewd ape. Yeah. You're not a shrewdness of apes. Uh, so here's like a phone. <laughs> this is how you hold a that's phone. That's how you hold a phone, yeah. Definitely. That's Maybe. how a business ape holds a phone. Yeah, I mean, who are we to say? I'm, I'm not a business man or ape. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about. I don't know anything about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know nothing <laughs> I don't, about anything. I. This is one ape though. Yeah, I'm gonna add more apes. We need more apes for it to be a shrewdness because this is a shrewd a shrewd ape, but it's not a shrewdness. It's not a shrewdness of apes. You're you're correct, Nathan. Yeah, you're absolutely we're correct. we're getting there though. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to set like a scene. These are like the three like you know high powered business apes. Okay, there are three of them. And um and then you're I'm gonna make your guy a little smaller. You can make it smaller. Because he, you're coming up. You're detecting. Yeah, the the sleuth of bears is gonna sleuth it out. Yeah, you're just now sort of, you know, catching on, yeah. catching up. It's in the di- let's, we get like a rack focus happens. It's focused on the apes in the foreground, and then it shifts, and you see who's that in the background. Oh, that's the sleuth. Yeah, totally. So I think this one I want to be like. I want the head to be like up at an angle. Okay. Because I'm thinking of like um, uh, that look that people do, where they're kind of like looking down on you. Oh yeah, like head tilted up. You're gonna get. Then, you're gonna get a little. I'm gonna feel belittled. You're gonna feel really belittled by this drawing, by this ape, and this you know just kind of like Buh. eyelashes and then looking down at you like oh from oh the, oh I. Oh, oh, have you oh, decided you're, to? You're, you're still here. You're still here. I could have sworn you would have left by now. Because what's the point of you? You don't have anything better to be doing. Of course not. What, of course what, not. What why I, would you? What am I thinking? You know, why would you have anything better to do? And this one's got like, they all have really cool hairstyles. I think oh, is important. Look at that cool business ape. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> looking cool is part of is part running of being a, true. Is part of running a business. I yeah. think. Because if people look at you and you look really cool, they're like, I trust what that person says because they yeah. know well enough to put themselves together. So naturally. That's why no one trusts me. No one trusts you, Nathan. I think that's one of the big <laughs> issues that we're facing I here. actively refuse to look cool ever. Yeah. And it's I think a conscious choice. I could one. look cool. I choose not to. You could look cool. Like, I know for a fact. Yeah. And sometimes you do look cool. But that's always by accident. This apes, I'm just giving them like human bodies, uh-huh. essentially. This one's got boobies. This, one, this, this one's got boobies. And like shoulder pad. It's like a shoulder pad executive, you know, 80s power mm-hmm. suit yeah. situation. For sure. You're really fashioning them up. Yeah, I just I only had like... to draw one. I only had to draw one fashion and then a bunch of little bears. Yeah, sure. I picked but... an easy one. And then we're going to have like a little guy. <laughs> a little guy back a here. little ape. And he's sort of like shrewd in the sense that he's got glasses. Oh, he's the numbers. Yeah, he's he's running like the numbers game. I would love a DK rap for this crew of shrewd apes. This shrewd crew of like tax evading, fraud fraudulent <laughs> apes. Oh, these apes yeah, are so doing got... so many crimes; they're never gonna get caught. I mean, how could you catch them? They're even, so shrewd. Even if the if the sleuth of bears finds irrefutable evidence of their crimes, who would prosecute? They'd be too afraid to. We'd need a prosecution of some- Of some other animal, <laughs> is there, yeah. Is there a need... prosecution of- <laughs> uh, a, a prosecution of hamsters. <laughs> Get the hamsters in here. Get the hamsters in here. Um, and this one's also wearing a like a suit. Yeah, of course. And a suit and tie, just oh, kind of peeking over the look corner. At this, look at this nerd ape. Peeking over the corner here, and this one's got sort of a maybe like a one of these going on. What is that? That's the hair. Oh, okay. Like kind of a. Uh, you, this is Adam Conover. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've drawn Adam Conover uh-oh. as an evil ape. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam. You have discovered <laughs> friend of the show, uh, Adam Conover, is a shrewd is ape. A shrewd, <laughs> well, I guess either that or he has like a shrewd ape doppelganger. Yeah, 
that could definitely be the case. <laughs> this, this is not. This is legally distinct. Yeah. From no. Adam this, Connor. Yeah. This is an ape. This is Radom. <laughs> Radom. Don't. <laughs> Are you gonna? <laughs> I was trying to think of like an ape pun for Conover. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that one exists. Radom. Get over. Uh, this is Radom. Get over. Uh, and he's like, get over it. We've got the money, and you've got nothing. I'm Radom. Get over. I can't condone this. You don't have to. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I think this is done. This is the shrewdness of apes. The shrewdness of apes. There's three of them. They run all of ape society from behind the scenes. Versus a sleuth of bears. The sleuth of bears who, is out to find the truth. Who wins? Who wins? Tell us in the comments. Yeah. Which team are you on? Are you on team ape or team bear? I think we can all agree that in like one-on-one -on -one physical combat, the sleuth of bears. The bears should win. I mean, they, they, should they win. do seem to be cubs, but maybe their mom is just off to the side. And yeah. once the apes get involved, the mom just comes and tears them up. But I think like the way the apes fight is more like the sleuth of bears comes home after a long day of sleuthing. And they get What's a, that in your house? It's they, a bloody weapon. Oh. And then the police show up at the door. There's been a murder and the weapon's in your house and now you're framed. Dang. You know, like that sort of thing, like nefarious play. Well, luckily there's so many bears that you could frame one, but the, the sleuth will keep coming for you. You can't possibly frame them all. <laughs> you can't frame every bear. <laughs> um, and that's why we still have bears. They'll solve your trash puzzle. This is an educational show, if nothing else. I think everyone's learned something. Uh huh. I've learned something. <laughs> I hope you have too. <laughs> this fucking smug Adam Conover looking <laughs> ape. Radom. It's so funny. Radom get over. Um, well, get over to the comments, leave a suggestion. Also, be sure to check us out on Twitch. Um, we, we stream every Friday. We're gonna start streaming other days. Yeah, we're Soon. gonna we're gonna up that Twitch presence. Yeah, uh, and and we every every week we get more people being like, oh, I didn't even know Drafi had a Twitch. So this is us telling you, we do, we do get get in there, get in there, and you can see us do things live. You we'll, can we, you we, can we, yell at us directly. Yeah, you could tell us the better puns. We go way more wild style on Twitch. Yeah, because we don't have to thumbnail anything or we, like have a grabby title. So we yeah. just do whatever, and it gets it gets. And we respond. It gets gross. We talk directly to you. Yo. Um. We're sorry. Sorry. <laughs>